Hi friends, I am Rahul. So, in this video is regarding of the jobs here and basic. Like in basic things like uh, how we create the custom module and how we create the uh, edit the modules and how we set up the layouts. So. Uh, If you want to, um, if you want to add any add any field in the leads module, so see how we can add the fields in the uh, leads module or add it the leads module. So click on the setting. There is a customization in section and click on the modules field modules and the fields here you can see the all modules in the our jobs here you can create a new module when you click on this button actually this is a our trial version so that's why we cannot add the new module. So when we when we, we we want to add any field in the leads module, so click on the leads module, and here you can see the layouts. We can make the uh, multiple types of layout according to the. Uh, user permissions or user base uh, role basis so due to again free trial so i we cannot i cannot create the new module so if you want to add um, the lead module if you want to add any Actually, let's try the count. So that's why I'm not adding any. So if you want to make any field required or unrequired so click on the three dots and you can check or uncheck this uh, mark as a required option and save it so this field is now unrequired uh, we cannot uh, uh, we cannot Unrequired the last name field because it's a system defined. So if you want to add any option in the drop down field, so click on the edit properties and you can add the options. And so this is the basic thing how we can add the field fields and how we can add the, edit the fields you can just drop, drag and drop the fields and rename the fields so if you want to remove any field like this one so when you remove this field it's showing in unused fields but when you delete from here so it's deleted permanently so if you want to just um, remove in uh, like you will just want to remove from the layout but not from the CRM so you can see here is the un un unused field okay. So, <clears throat> if 
if you want to create an email template then you click on the templates and here, here, you, here you can see the three options email inventory and email merge so due to again trial account so inventory and email merge option is disabled but email option is enabled we can create the email template in the emails uh, or like if you want to send the email using the template then you can create template here and send the email template but if you want to send the uh, like invoice template and quotation template so you can create the template in the inventory or if you want to send uh, like a signed document or NDA form so you can use the mail merge option Here you can create the NDA form and you can send the mail merge email and for the document sign and here is a users option you can add delete or <coughs> you can delete the uh, like you can add the users and remove the and users and change the status of the users and security controls you can assign the roles for the users and you can create the user roles this is a web form option if you want to create a form and embed it on the website for creating a lead or contact module so you can create a form in this in the Joe CRM and embed anywhere so when anyone submit this form so if you select a leads module then the record is created in the leads module if uh, you selected the contact contact module then you know someone is uh, someone is submitted the form then the contact is created into the CRM or you can add the fields like contact Last name is directory, so that's where here you can see the last name field is automatically shown here. You can add the fields in the form first name, last name, phone number, or you can mark as required if you show any to uh, any internet so so you can use this and if you want to hide this field and pass the default value so you can use this option and you can add any field so if you want so you can create this form and add here the location uh, where you want to add this form and assign a user notification you can enable the notifications so this is the option for create it in the web form in Joho CRM and more, more things are not 
showing here video to the free trial account like uh, client script we can use the client script for like on user input uh, action like if you want to if someone is uh, like uh, like this if I have selected the contact name then its account name is all automatically populated so that means it's a user input uh, action when we select any contact name then account name will, will be automatically populated so this is the user input uh, this is a user input action so we can perform using client script okay. and this is a marketplace we can integrate uh, in, in. here you can see the op two options right now Joe and Microsoft, but in the paid account, you can see the all options like we can integrate with the third parties like Twilio for sending the SMS and SMS Magic for sending the SMS, and we can you and uh, here you can see the Joho applications we can integrate by default integrate with the josie it's a default functionality and other is a api well the api In the trial account, we have 35,000 uh, APIs for, uh, so this is the basic of the Joho, the CLM. So, due to trial account so i have no access for other options so i want to so i have another option workflow workflow rules is using for like sending email creating tasks so you, if you want to perform on the performing the action on create on edit on and delete record or any field update record so so you can create the workflow rule like uh, I want to send the lead uh, send the email welcome email when a lead is created into the, our CRM account so I create a new workflow rule I'm selecting the leads menu and giving the name and to welcome email Mm 
you can see the options on create action on create edit or edit if you want to send the welcome email when the lead is created so uh, i'm selecting the create option if you want to send uh, if you want to create a condition like if someone when the lead source is twitter then sending a different email and if the lead source is facebook then send the another email template so you can select here like lead source is like twitter or facebook if you selecting the facebook when a lead is created from facebook then send email dash okay if you want to send uh, another email when the lead source is twitter so creating the another your trial account i don't have access to create the another condition so if you want to send the standard email welcome email then you need to select all leads and send the welcome email and save it and the lead is created then this workflow will be execute and send the email on the leads email so in the workflow rules we can send the email creating the task and change the field value we can send the data in post the data on the another uh, another url on third party like using the web hook okay and you can create a record using workflow rule or you can create a workflow functions using the delete language in the jo ci so this is the mm, basic things or you can create the report in the jo ci reports like um, these are the reports like my open task this is the open task report we can create the dashboard we can change the dashboards so, this is my meeting list and to the list it is no data found because no lead is created today if i am creating a new lead then it shall be you can see the two leads so we can customize this home page and we can show the analytics um, report we can create a pie chart we can create the uh, barcode bar reports so this is the jo crm basic report in the basic video so thank you thank you so much